bright flash of light. They're going to feel some heat and it may feel like a little rubber band uh, on the skin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put these little shields. Uh, so if you were to treat a patient without doing the eye shield and that light were to go on the iris, the light would be absorbed by the iris and that could give you transillumination defects and inflammation in the eye. If it goes deeper into the retina, it can affect the retina. So you really want to uh, cover those eyes. So what I tell the patient to do is open their eyes, look up, close, and we put the filter. So then we take some ultrasound gel. This is the same ultrasound gel that you would find for doing an ultrasound on uh, a woman who's pregnant. And we're just gonna apply a little thin sheet of ultrasound gel right in the area that we're going to be treating. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be treating trachis to trachis. And the reason we're doing that is uh, when we were doing our studies, we found if we just treat it here in the cheek level and the lid level, uh, the ocular surface disease would come back quicker. Uh, the changes in the skin, abnormal changes in the skin would come back quicker. So treating from ear to ear got us uh, better results. So we're gonna do one pass from ear to ear, including uh, the nose. And then we're gonna do a second pass. And what we found is in the double pass method, uh, we get the best results. Now when you're starting, I would recommend wearing uh, some eye shields to block uh, the light. I've been doing this so long, I have the ability to uh, close my eyes at the point of uh, treatment. Uh, so that the light doesn't affect uh, my eyes. But I think in the beginning, go ahead and put your, uh, your goggles on. And we're gonna start treatment. So what you wanna do in treatment, you don't wanna push down on the skin, because if you do, you'll close off any little abnormal talonjectasias. So you just want a just barely contact on the skin. Warn the patient on the first one, so one, two, three. And how is that? Not a problem. Not a problem. And one, two, three. And then we start treating. Now this usually takes me about five minutes to do a double pass. As you can see, I'm doing the cheek. The important uh, treatment parts is right here, right on the lid margin. And usually it's about four treatments with mild overlap so that you get the full lid margin of the lower lid margin. The question that I'm often asked is uh, why don't we treat the upper uh, lids? What we found was that the brow acts as a barrier to energy and heat. So when you treat the upper lids, that energy uh, has nowhere to go and it sits on the upper lid and it's too much energy even if you lower the energy uh, down to uh, even eight joules per centimeter but the importance of hitting these four shots right on that lower lid margin trying to get as close to the lid margin as possible and that will give you the best results if you just treat here and not get close to the lid margin, you will get some results, but you won't get the full effect, which in our clinic we have over a 95% uh, success rate. One of the advantages that uh, the patients will see with IPL is not only will it help their ocular surface, but it's gonna help the skin uh, where you're doing the treatment. So you're going to get some facial rejuvenation where you're doing the IPL. Now some patients are going to ask you, uh, well I love the way my skin looks where you treat it, can you treat uh, the rest of my face? And if somebody wants a full facial uh, intense pulse light treatment, IPL treatment, we're going to do a one pass in the parts that we didn't get. So I did a 13 joules per centimeter squared on this patient. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase to 15 and I'm going to do uh, one pass on the places where I didn't treat. 
Now patients are going to ask you if you can treat the neck because they're going to like the way their skin looks. You don't want to treat below the jawline because there's some studies that show that low level light uh, therapy can stimulate uh, the thyroid. Now you want to be careful not to uh, get near the hair or the eyebrows. IPL is, can be used for hair removal. So you want to be careful when you're going around the eyebrows and around the hair and that's why she's wearing this little bouffant uh, uh, hairnet to keep uh, the hair away. We want to take away the gel. So once we're done taking off all the gel, now we're going to bring the patient over to the slit lamp and there we're going to do uh, meibomian gland expression. What we found was when patients get intense pulse light and IPL uh, to the skin around the lid margin is that there's some heat generated in the dermis which will actually dilate the meibomian glands and melt the secretions. And I said before there's a heat wave that goes from lower to upper so we actually get that same effect of heating uh, of the upper meibomian glands so those secretions get melted so that we can express those as well. If a patient experiences any intense redness on the skin following intense pulse light treatment, the best treatment is to place some aquaphor in the areas. Usually the redness will go away within one to three days. All right, so what we, we've just finished the IPL, now we've brought the patient over to the slit lamp. And what we're gonna do is we have the ability now to work on these blocked glands. Look up for me. And I just take a Q-tip, which I've already moistened. There's about 30 to 35 uh, meibomian glands in uh, each of the lids. Oh, you can really, can you see that on the TV screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these glands are supposed to secrete a olive oil-like secretion. She's making a toothpaste-like secretion. So you can see that energy goes up to the upper lid and actually opens the upper lid so that you can do gland expression. Now, I'm pretty vigorous uh, the first treatment because I want to get as much of this toothpaste-like secretion out as possible. So you just see all that toothpaste that's in the glands. That's completely abnormal. So she, you can see why she suffers from some dry eye. Look down. And you can see all that toothpaste that's coming onto my Q-tip. So patients, when you're doing this part, they're gonna wanna blow their nose. The reason being is all this abnormal secretion is draining into their nose. Look up for me. So we do upper and lower. She's got toothpaste in both. This is a perfect patient for